and all major routes into the city are building normally, we'll have a mostly sunny day with cloudy periods for the rest of the morning and into the afternoon. We've been talking about men. What is it about men who live alone? But this morning's guest, Dr. Phyllis. Now, what is it about these men, and why do women find them irresistible? Well, Tony, for the most part, we're talking about a man who is strong, who is unto himself, and doesn't have a woman telling him what to do or how to live or even how to dress. In truth, he may not have a lot of female companionship in his life. <laughs> Are you telling us this man is hard up for a date? A man who can function on his own? That's attractive to a woman. A lot of our listeners are men, and most of them are driving in this morning. <laughs> I bet they'd like to be driving in. All right, we're talking about men with Dr. Phyllis, and we'll have more after this. in your crystal ball. The days of the lone alpha male are numbered. They're eventually conquered and brought to their knees by some lovely lady. And as for her... She looks single to me, Frank. Officer Ross, this is Grimes, Carter. Hi. She's your partner for the day, Sergeant Gannon. Nice to meet you, Ross. I'm sorry I'm late. I uh, had a flat and then my spare was flat, you know. Sorry. All right, so, you ready? Absolutely. Right, let's go. Excuse me. See you guys. So you think she'll make it? 50 bucks as she does. Ross. Wrong car. So, you're in for the two-week gauntlet? Yes, sir. May I just say what an honor it is to ride with you, Sergeant? Fifteen years on the force. Highest arrest record in the department. Medal of Valor twice. I do my homework. Well, that's terrific, Ross. Want some gum, Ross? No, I don't chew. You don't know what you're missing? So, what's the plan? Same as always. Finish our shift in one piece. Any available unit attend to a disturbance. 29 Arlington, corner of 14. All right, Allentown, we'll respond. Over. Wait, please, I, I want for you to meet my beautiful niece, Adrienne. Say hello to this sergeant, my darling. You see how he protects our neighborhood, makes everybody feel safe. Thank you. Nice to meet you. 
I'm sorry, Uncle. I must go. I'm really not feeling well. Wait, wait Adriana, come back. Wait. Listen, any problems, give me a call, OK? Uh, later, later. Come back later. You should get to know her. She's a very good girl. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Got your cuffs, Ross? Good. Yeah. One, two. It's Master Ace. Punchline. Chords. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry. I really screwed up back there. I don't know what happened. I mean, it's cop 101, right? You cuff a guy and, uh... I don't know what I was thinking. It's okay, Ross. Don't worry about it. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Can I ask you a question, Sergeant? Yeah, sure. That was extortion back there. Why didn't you push the old man to press charges against those guys? Spend all morning downtown filling out forms. I don't think so. and our own commanding officer in jail. Sounds about right. We've got three dead officers and two dead guys with AK-47s. And? And a van. And a van. Registered to Khaled Mansur, 455 Crescent Street, apartment 310. You're making progress, Ross. Thanks. Four fifty-five Crescent. So tell me something, Ross. What's that, Sergeant? How come a college grad decided to become a cop? How'd you know that? I do my homework, Ross. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess uh, this is what I always wanted to do. And when uh, other little girls were playing with Barbies, I was playing cops and robbers. They all said that I couldn't do it. Here I am. Well. You certainly are. All right, Ross, you stay here and cover me. I got it.
Some gun What? I told you, you don't know what you're missing. You gotta go in without the press chain. Without backup? Okay with that. Absolutely. Hey, Sarge. I'll take some of that gum now. How are you feeling, Ross? I'm all right. You look good. Well, the mayor said you're a hero. I guess so. Um, that you'll get your shield after all. Yeah. Well. And you? Well, they want to make me a lieutenant, so. Still thinking about it. it means I got to go back to school. Well, if you need any help with your homework.
Yeah. Hey, um, by the way, what's your uh, first name, Ross? Billy. Billy. Yeah. It's nice. Suits you. Thank you, Sarge. They can call me Frank. So, um, once you're back on your feet, you want to, um, you want to have some dinner? Dinner? Yeah. You know that thing between lunch and breakfast? I'd love to. All right. Um, I know just the place. Mm -hmm. 